Good day, Vero Beach. Doug Side from InVeroBeachFlorida.com, and I'm at Blue Ribbon Boarding and Grooming today with Martin Lavender. Martin, thanks so much for taking a little time to talk to me. Uh, this place is really cool. Like, it's very cool. We've got all kinds of great stuff. Get to come and play with the animals. And we are Blue Ribbon Boarding Grooming, Day to Cake Daycare, and BR's Boutique, which you can see here. Yeah, you've got a lot of stuff in here. Now, uh, so, how long have you, you've been grooming for a long time? I have been grooming for a long time. That's, it's kind of a weird story how we got started into this. Um, I grew up in the restaurant business, and many, 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 like 30 years ago, my partner at the time uh, was, knew a lot about animals and such, and I didn't, and it, we decided to open up a pet shop called Pet Pets. It was over Lori's Plaza, if anyone remembers that. It's now, what do they call it now? Bowling Alley Plaza. And it just kind of started from there, and we had a nice, beautiful little pet shop, and some lady came in with a Great Dane and said, hey, I can't afford to feed this huge dog this great food all the time. So, in all his wisdom, my uh, uh, business partner then said, hey, I'll trade you dog food if you teach him how to groom. I said, I don't want to learn how to groom. You learn how to groom. He said, I am not going to learn how to groom. You learn how to groom. <laughs> so she ended up, she was a Catherine Goldstein, uh, very turned out to be a very good friend of mine. She wrote a book on dog grooming and was one of the top teachers at one of the top grooming schools, the New York School of Dog Grooming at the time. So she retired here to Bureau. Long story short, that's how I started. That's awesome. And That's... it's just progressed from different locations into building this 4,000 square foot building back in 04. Now, this is like hurricane proof or something? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's hurricane proof. Well, and nothing's 100% hurricane proof, but <laughs> we can easily say that we went from the 04 hurricanes back to back. We were in this building maybe four months. It's all poured concrete on all four sides. The rafters, we exceeded the date code Cat 5 hurricane standard as it was back in 04. We took that standard and I said, no, I want heavier material in the rafters, you know, um, wood, and strapping on every single joint and joist that there is, where they only probably I think at the time every like third or something like that. So everything is so secured out there, we breeze through the hurricane, no pun intended. Uh, without any problems. The only damage we had was the building next door to us roof flew off and squished our fence in the back where we leave all our dogs out. Oh, so, so you had a little... So we had picked those up before we left out. We had no problems. Two other boarding facilities were destroyed. They evacuated their animals over to us oh. because, you know, nobody could get back in town in time before the second hurricane hit. It was crazy, but it, it was good. We had a lot of help. This became a shelter for people and for pets. Wow. My dad was out front with the grill, grilling food. People would bring food to us because we had generators. And we would cook. People would stop. After a while, they would stop because they were hungry. There was no food, nowhere to eat. Uh, you know, who planned ahead back then for hurricanes? Right, right. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, so <clears throat> you've been in this location then since 2004. And right. uh, you do a, a little bit of everything. So you've got, you've got the dog daycare. Correct. We're very diversified. We call it the Date the Cake Doggy Daycare because Drew, uh, my my partner, is from the Cape and, you know, of course, Boston. And this replicated his porch on his house on the Cape. So he we knocked out walls and he built this beautiful daycare room for small dogs. And of course, we had to call it Day at the Cape. So it's a Day at the Cape doggy daycare. Day so of. you have uh, not just daycare, but you have some long term boarding if people go on vacation or, or things like that. Tell me a little more about that. We do. Uh, the boarding facility is it's beautiful cages um, or houses, as we like to call them, because that's what they really are. They have beds and food and water. And during the summer, especially, we have long term boarders. We've had pets sometimes for eight months. We've had pets that come in for five days a week, and then the parents go out of town on the weekends and they come in. Uh, it's just, we, we have long-term pets that come in so often that they literally, and I'm not lying, 
they'll run through the front door, push open the back door, make their way to the back, and they know exactly where their house is, and they run in it, and they sit. That's amazing. They do, and they know when they're coming. Everybody will say that. Here at Blue Ribbon, they'll know when they're coming across the bridge or they're making the turn off 16th Street. They just know when they're almost here and they start like barking and yapping and <laughs> driving their owners crazy in the car. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, you, you've got some accessories so type of stuff. You've got uh, beds and, and um, food and, and... We do. Uh, so one of the things I liked about this building is we had a nice small boutique area up front. You know, we don't carry a ton of things, but we carry just a better quality of things. Uh, one of the things is our Ritual Pet products, which I'm very proud to be partnered up with. And they have donated many items through the years to the Blue Ribbon Charitable Foundation. Uh, but Ritual Pet products is made of all renewable resources, made of renewable rubber wood, which they don't have to deforest for, or bamboo. So everything is handcrafted, it's handmade, they're cutting edge designs, I guess I should say. And they're practical, they're beautiful, they're a piece of furniture. So if you have this stuff in your house, it looks it's nice. not right, it's not a plastic gate or something that you just right. aren't proud of having. This is a, a quality product that's gonna last the life of your pet. Yeah, and gates and, and crates and Exactly. And exactly. beds and now so uh, you have some of these in stock and then they can order as well? Correct. I have, I have a, the largest selection of Ritual Pet products in Florida, probably in the United States. So if I don't have it, certainly I can order it. Right. Um, hours here? Hours here are Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Uh, to qualify that, the uh, we have drop-off for daycare early from 7 to 8. We do grooming from 8 until you know noon, 1 o'clock is drop-off time. And then we're here until 6 o'clock if somebody needs to come late to pick up their dogs. To pick up their, their pets after work. Correct. And then Sundays we have one time, 4 o'clock sharp, to pick up your pet. Pick up your pet. I tell them from 4 to 4.01. <laughs> 4 to 401. <laughs> uh, awesome. Um, is there anything else you want to add before we wrap it up? Uh, I, I think we covered so much of it. Uh, Blue Ribbon, Boarding, Grooming, and Date to Cape Daycare, and BR's Boutique has always been here and designed to for the comfort of the pets, for the safety of the pets, and it's staffed with the nicest, sweetest, most caring staff. I could ever hope to have here in Vero Beach. So it's it's just a nice place to come for the people. It's a nice place to come for the pets. And what's the, the phone number here for it Vero Beach? It is 567-2123. I didn't think about that. 772-567-2123. <laughs> and we're located at 1525 10th Avenue, right in back of the Majestic Theater. Martin, thanks so much for taking a little time to talk to me once again. All right, Vero Beach, if you... Uh... If you need uh, your dog or uh, groomed or if you need boarding or anything like that, give Blue Ribbon and Blue Ribbon Boarding and Grooming a call. <laughs> you got through that. Why did I get... <laughs> Take care of your beast. Thanks for watching.